Investment is, um, I think, s such uh, notice can uh, be used I, as uh, to uh, uh, raise awareness of uh, dec decision makers when you talk about return on investments of a security projects as a, a key issue in the development of the company. What is the situation in Africa? There's two main negative points that we can observe in the African countries. First of all, the first negative point is the weakness of ICT infrastructures. We know uh, today that uh, connectivity is, uh, is the first interest for uh, the African countries and uh, it is one of uh, the main obstacles uh, to uh, uh, to reach a good connectivity of uh, peoples to internet in general. Second negative points, point is the lack of electronic services. We can see that as the second layer over the layer of infrastructure that to develop services, electronic services, we, we have to good, first of all, the infrastructure. So weakness of ICT infrastructures, but lack or absence of electronic services. But perhaps the positive point that we can uh, have as African countries, if you are perhaps late uh, in the development of internet, is uh, we can go faster to reach a safe use of ICTs by learning from the experiences of others. They have an advance, but they make a lot of mistakes to reach the, t the situation that you, they have today. We can learn, learn from these experiences and avoid the mistakes that have been done by uh, the advanced countries. So normally, we can go faster than them and avoid their mistakes. Uh, one of the point to, uh, to conduct a security project in a country is to get an operation cert, computer emergency response team. Uh, what we can see today in Africa, that there, unfortunately there is only one cert in Africa among operation cert among around 200 certs around the world. Uh, in this case, it is the Tunisian CERT, which is, which is operation from 2005 and recognized by the first, the Forum of Incident Response Teams, from 2007. Uh, South Africa is, a sh is in progress. They are setting up, actually, a, a CERT, and uh, uh, we are assisting them to uh, set up their first. They have a, a deadline uh, uh, related to the World Cup of uh, football, and uh, they have to be uh, ready before this uh, uh, big event. Uh, and I think it is a model or an example, a good example of co collaboration, South-South co collaboration. Some other countries that are thinking about uh, setting up an operation cert uh, like uh, the Ivory Coast, uh, Morocco, Kenya, and some other countries. I will now I will switch to another part of the presentation to to talk about the approach, how to do for an African country, how to conduct a project to get uh, uh, a national security project, a national strategy for security and confidence. It is on another slide. Okay. So, we can see a national project to set a strategy for cybersecurity 
as a project that uh, that is set on three pillars. And uh, th these three pillars, uh, like uh, we, we can see in the picture, uh, are necessary to uh, to maintain the rock at the high level. So without one of these pillars, we can not succeed in a cybersecurity project. The first pillar is technology, the pillar of technology. We have to get ICT tools, security tools, to uh, conduct a such project. The second pillar is methodological pr uh, pillar. We have to set up a policy, procedures, regulation, etc. Third pillar, third point, necessary point, is the culture of cybersecurity. This point can be viewed as a social behavior because like in any kind of culture, uh, this is uh, dependent of the behavior of people. So with, th with these, these three pillars, if we succeed in, in, in each of them, we can get a good project of cybersecurity at a level of a na uh, at a national level, but it can be also viewed uh, at the company level, for example. If we take one of uh, one by one the, these uh, three pillars, uh, we can start with the technology pillar. So we have to get computer networks tools. Uh, we know that uh, we uh, to secure a network, to secure data, we have to get uh, antivir antiviruses, firewalls, IDS, IPS. These are uh, computer network tools. Physical security tools, uh, now security is a, a chain of uh, many uh, steps and physical access, for example, to a building, for uh, the computer, uh, the, the rooms where we, ca we can find the servers, etc., uh, is important. A security uh, chapter concern, uh, concerning data tools, we have to get uh, storage media. We have to use, in some cases, cryptography. And uh, as a four uh, point is availability and applications. Uh, you know that for internet services, it is very important to get availability. So if you have a problem with one server, we, we must be able to, uh, to switch on a second server, for example, a redundant server to maintain the availability of services. We can also use uh, security uh, ap uh, application networks like PKA. If we see the second, uh, the, the second methodology pillar, uh, security is not only tools, it's not only technical. We have to get procedures, we have to put methodology procedures. Uh, this can be achieved at many levels. At the manager level, we have to uh, to, to to talk with the, the decision makers. So we have to to get the priority at the level of uh, decision makers. Uh, management procedures, capacity building, it is very important. Security aspects at specialized and specialization in computer. Uh, specialties. Uh, we have to make audit of uh, the existing solution. Uh, second uh, methodology aspect can be is the leg legislation level. We, without a legislation framework, we cannot uh, conduct a real uh, cybersecurity project. So, and in many countries, the, they they start by uh, by this point because. It's uh, relatively easy to put the legislation level because we can see what we, what we can find in the other uh, countries and to, uh, to make something uh, uh, to, to learn from this uh, regulation text and to put uh, personalized uh, legislation laws and the regulation text for the country. The operation level uh, we have to put rules concerning the access control, the implementation plans, monitoring, watching, incidents handling. It is very important to put such rules. The last point, uh, but not the least, is the continuity of services. In security field, 
we have to uh, we have to to believe in uh, the following principle that we have to do everything to avoid incidents but the r the risk zero does not exist so we have to prepare ourselves to face incidents when they occur and for this there is a lot of uh, standards for uh, uh, and the procedures that uh, uh, allow us to uh, conduct a continuity plan, uh, uh, emergency plan when an incident uh, occur, and uh, this is allow us to reduce the impact of the incident on the company or if you are talking about the country at the national level. Uh, we arrive here uh, at the level of social, uh, at the pillar of social behavior. The social behavior pillar is very important. From my point, uh, point of view, and from my experience, uh, a lot of countries or even companies uh, think that if they put the technical tools, if they put the methodological tools, they are secure. There is nothing to do after. This is a mistake because if we have, uh, for example, if you have the, the users, the users, people who use these tools, who apply the procedures, uh, have not a real culture of cybersecurity, uh, we will fail in our uh, project. Uh, for example, uh, simple example, uh, known example, if someone uh, put uh, his uh, password to access a computer just uh, uh, just on the desk uh, behind the the computer so here uh, is, uh, here every any 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 anyone can uh, use this password and access and uh, to uh, control the security access, uh, access. so the culture of cybersecurity depends on many actions of awareness, continuous actions, and we have to target different kinds of communities. We don't use the same awareness program if we target children, for example, if we target uh, professionals, if we target non-professionals, sample users, or if we target even decision makers. So we have to get different languages, different kind of discussions with uh, uh, according to the community or the, the person we have uh, in front. And we have to diversify the channels, the media channels to, to, uh, to try to reach a maximum of people. And this is a very hard work, very hard program to, to, to conduct. Uh, and uh, we have to think about uh, different kind of media awareness. The legislative framework. Just for example, in Tunisia, we start with the first cybersecurity law in 1999. And uh, after that, uh, the National Agency for Computer Security uh, has been created by a law in 2004. Uh, another point that we uh, use in Tunisia, but not, not obligatory in other countries, we have a law that, uh, that uh, push companies, public or private companies, big companies, to conduct security audits, periodic security audits. This is one of the main axes of our legislation framework. And from this point, we, ha we had to create a body of certified auditors. The missions of security audits are conducted by private experts uh, that are certified by uh, the agency. And uh, to complete the framework, the legislative framework, we have many other laws like uh, the electronic signature uh, law that recognize the electronic signature as a proof of uh, uh, of a signature and can be recognized by uh, uh, the administration and uh, uh, the law structures 
there is also a law on the protection and the respect of intellectual property, on the protection of privacy and personal data. How are organized the, the Tunisian structures? So he, here, uh, it, uh, this slide re, uh, resume uh, uh, the different sector. We have the agency at the middle, and we have the target company by the audit law, and we have the certified auditors, and uh, we have a training centers to, uh, to, to train the auditors and the experts in security. The Tunisian CERT has many missions. These missions can be viewed around this, uh, uh, the, this uh, kernel. And uh, first of all, we have the watch. Watch, we have to uh, try to detect incidents and attacks, cyber attacks, on, the, uh, on different uh, so national servers or infra infrastructure. We have a mission of training. Cybersecurity field is a hard field. We have to, 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 to build capacity in this field. Warning and alert. When, uh, when an incident occurs, we have to alert and to warn uh, the, the target or the responsible of these uh, servers. Uh, also, there is a proactive uh, work that is done uh, before incident uh, occur occurrences is uh, to collect information about vulnerabilities and to uh, to send useful information to the concerned people, to the professionals, to the managers, uh, to the, for example, uh, the web servers uh, uh, responsibles. And as I said before, awareness program a response, a response is to react to incident, how to react. Incident handling also is a very important part and a hard part. When, uh, when an incident occurs, it is um, very important to try to understand how the attacker or how the hackers uh, have, have uh, uh, conducted their attack. So we have to uh, analyze all the logs and to uh, to coordinate with the internet providers uh, where the uh, uh, holders, uh, holders of uh, service and to try to analyze and to reconstitute the scenario of attack to, and this allows us, allow us to uh, better, uh, uh, to, 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 be, to be, uh, better prepared to the, f to, to the next uh, attacks from this uh, kind. Uh, for the watch missions, uh, which is a very important uh, mission. Uh, we have to collect information from different kind of sources. For example, here, uh, we can collect uh, information about vulnerabilities from, uh, from uh, products, uh, from uh, productors. For, for example, Microsoft, Microsoft uh, publish regularly uh, the vulnerabilities about their products. Uh, Cisco re uh, periodically uh, publish vulnerabilities. Some uh, specialized institutes or companies also publish vulnerabilities. So this is a kind is uh, a first kind of sources that we can uh, use to filter to. Uh, to analyze and to get the, the useful information to transmit uh, further to uh, professions. Uh, also, the first, the first with which is the network of certs around the world. It's a forum of incidents response uh, teams, and the first uh, works like a club because we have to be sponsored to enter this network, this club. And after that, when we are in this network, we can exchange useful information very quickly and in confidence. You know, it is very important when somewhere in the world we detect a virus, a new virus for new malware, uh, it is very important to, to, to transmit this information, uh, information to the other members of the network in uh, a confidence 
framework because we have to to to, uh, to believe this uh, uh, this transmitter of our, of our information and to to react very quickly to that incident. This is the first, and also we have all uh, we have to go to other kind of sources like uh, uh, hackers communities. Uh, in, so, in many cases, hackers uh, publish their attacks in uh, some websites, and uh, from this, uh, we can uh, get information on uh, uh, some attacks or some incidents. Concerning uh, the mission of information warning and alerts, as we see in the uh, previous slide, we collect information, we analyze, we prepare uh, useful information, and after that, we transmit this information to users and to professionals. Uh, among our partners, uh, for, for, for one sort, uh, the main partners are internet providers, because internet provides may be considered as the gates of the local internet, of the national internet. And um, we work uh, very, uh, very uh, in a, an important manner with them. Uh, also, manager and decision makers, we can transmit them uh, some useful information at their levels. Webmasters, security administration or security responsibles, uh, programmers also are a community for which we prepare a kind of information to transmit to them. And the more general users, the more general users. For that, we have mailing lists that we use to, 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 uh, to inform, to warn. Uh, we have a call center inside the third, and we use different uh, media uh, like uh, TV, uh, radio, and press to also uh, inform and to uh, warn about uh, security issues. For the awareness, as I said before, so we have to take into account the different kinds of communities, decision makers, professionals, teachers, students, users, even journalists and lawyers. And we use different kinds of support media, media supports, prospectus, posters, emails, radio emission, cartoons for children communities, for example, uh, attack simulation, it is very impressionant impression to, to make a simulation of an attack for professionals and uh, in general at the end of the simulation they are convinced uh, of the importance of this issue and uh, also guides guides is more uh, a target for uh, professionals because we have uh, technical details or uh, uh, pro procedural details incident handling so we have to, to get uh, different kind of teams inside the CERT, uh, a team to watch and to detect the incident in real time, and the, a team that works on offline, as uh, if you can uh, say that, and to uh, analyze uh, the incidents, to also make, uh, to learn about the, the latest te 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 technologies used to try to introduce these technologies uh, and the, the whole system of tools that uh, detect and react to incidents. Coordination is very important in our field. We cannot work uh, alone. We have to work with many other uh, actors. Uh, in one country, we can have many certs. For example, in Brazil, uh, there is, uh, I think, th uh, around 30 certs. So, certs, uh, for example, banks, we can have a s cert for the banking uh, sector, we can have a cert for the administration sector, we can have a cert for, uh, I don't know, for uh, touristic field, for example. And so, we can have uh, the certs, we can have certs at the regional level. For example, in, uh, in Europe, the European certs are organized in uh, a group, in two kinds of groups, uh, associative group and uh, uh, governmental group. In uh, Asia, uh, also Asia Pacific has uh, a group of certs and they work together in the region of Asia. Uh, unfortunately for Africa, we have to get 
more thirds in Africa to can constitute uh, a group of thirds and work together uh, for the uh, uh, problems that are related to Africa. And we are not alone in the world. We have to coordinate with uh, the thirds ar around the world, uh, with ISPs, with national authority, with vendor integrator. Uh, and, and sometimes we have to set up at the, uh, an advance of uh, coordination procedures uh, to work with these partners. Um, it is important also to have a know-how in IT security. Uh, a country perhaps can make the choice to get a solution, a ready solution, to implement the solution at the national level, but if we we have to think in the long term, it is important to make a capacity building to construct, to build uh, a know-how in this field and to get in some way uh, uh, an auto uh, uh, autonomy in uh, conducting uh, the cybersecurity program. Uh, one of the solutions that we can uh, exploit or use to reach this uh, uh, goal is to use open sources. Open source, uh, we know that um, many good solutions exist uh, in the open source. Uh, we have to find them, to, ex to uh, understand these uh, components and to integrate the components that we, uh, we select in a platform or in a whole solution that fit with the requirement of the country. This is what we, we did in Tunisia and what we are doing now. We have a platform that uh, has been uh, implemented in the National Agency of Computer Security in Tunisia and uh, it is based on open source components. Uh, so we have not to reinvent the, the wheel, S many things exist. We have to understand, to collect, select, and to integrate. It's not very difficult, but we have to, to think about. Uh, we have to, to get also bridges with the academic research, with universities, with uh, university labs. Uh, it is another community, but we can make bridges and we can conduct some projects together this also uh, contribute in, in building a know-how and a certain autonomy in IT security. Thank you. It was just a first presentation uh, to perhaps I think that the most important is to conduct a, a discussion uh, about uh, the, the, the problem related, uh, the problems related to Africa and uh, so it is open uh, for you and I don't know who wants to start with the question or remark. Or Thank you. Okay. Uh, there is a microphone, I think. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. If you can present yourself and after your question. Or uh, my question uh, is about the uh, uh, subscriber identification. Excuse me. Can you present yourself and after uh, provide that? Uh, excuse me. My name is uh, Isaka Kananzui from Burkina Faso. Thank you. Uh, I'm here uh, for uh, Diplo Foundation. Uh, so uh, my question is uh, about uh, uh, subscri subscriber identification. Uh, in your presentation, I didn't saw uh, uh, the security about uh, uh, telephony uh, because um, in uh, most African country, uh, because of the so social uh, problem, there are not full uh, subscriber identification. So um, uh, 
uh, there are uh, um, security issues such uh, social engineering. Uh, so uh, I want to know, uh, uh, according to your view, uh, how a solution can be uh, uh, found, for example, to deal with uh, this issue. Uh, because uh, uh, in Burkina Faso, uh, recently, uh, uh, the regulator asked uh, 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 mobile, mobile operator to, to get to reach 100% uh, 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 subscribe, subscriber identification, and uh, presently uh, they are uh, they, they have uh, uh, less than uh, uh, fifty percent of subscriber identification. Uh, for instance, uh, it's uh, a security issue for uh, 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 telecommunication telecommunication regulator of uh, Burkina Faso. Uh, excuse me for my English, <laughs> because I'm French speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, you talk about social engineering, uh, and uh, in my first slide, I talk about social behavior uh, as one pillar of the three pillars uh, required to uh, maintain a cybersecurity project. Uh, so, uh, social uh, uh, engineering is uh, uh, how uh, hackers exploit the behavior of users to uh, to get over the security uh, aspects, the security uh, access, and uh, uh, this is. I think this is why uh, we have to uh, to make uh, a lot or all to put a culture of cybersecurity. So culture of cybersecurity is uh, the objective if, is to, uh, to transmit to the users to get a good behavior uh, in front of uh, the threats that we are facing. Uh, for Africa, I know, I know that for mobile, uh, the, the, there's a big use of mobile uh, uh, devices and uh, uh, I think that uh, for security aspects, we have to think about, but it's a, next, uh, it's a generation next uh, after the security aspects that you are facing actually in uh, uh, classical uh, information systems. Second question here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Patrick Mesgo. And um, uh, thank you very much for the presentation. We had also received some, a similar presentation from your colleague, I think he's Mr. Rice, at a workshop in Zambia some two months ago. And he was talking about your cert. Yes, it was a responsible from the NAC. Yeah, probably you could help us by telling us how you got started, because most of us are in the process of also trying to start our certs. You could tell us how you got started, what kind of support you got, and whether you would be willing to share your experience with some of us who also want to get started on this project. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think for, uh, as a support, uh, as a support, uh, uh, if, you, if you think about starting a project of setting up an operation search, for example, uh, it is uh, not difficult to, to, to find supports. We, uh, for example, for South Africa, they, they began to, uh, to, to set up with the, the assistance of uh, Tunisian CERT. And uh, we, uh, we are very uh, encouraging the South-South uh, collaboration. So uh, this is, I think, one of uh, the, the, the points to support uh, uh, such, uh, uh, such project. Uh, just we have to, to think about at the start. I think we have to plan. Such way we have to make a plan, and after that, I think uh, things will be easy. Another uh, remark or person?
My name is Mansur uh, from Bangalore, India. You told about the social behavior and you are following uh, previous experience from other country which they implement internet and they progress in this uh, way. But uh, do you think uh, this social behavior and previous uh, experience is related to each other? Means if suppose in some country something wrong or something is going on in other country because of that uh, social behavior it won't go and maybe it is different and also you can suppose think about if you are not in advance you are following some experience then you are the subject for attack from that advanced countries. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, concerning uh, the social behavior, I agree with you that um, uh, from one country to another, we have different cultures, classical cultures. So we have not uh, obligatory the same, the same standards or the same. Uh, 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 thank you for the. <laughs> Uh, to uh, to compare, uh, we cannot uh, always compare with other countries. But uh, uh, I think we can find, and uh, we can see that through other workshops, we can find a common uh, set of of rules. If I can see, uh, say that, uh, for example, when we talk about uh, uh, protect children from pornography, for example we have a consensus every, every country i think all countries agree that we have to protect ch protect children from this uh, threat uh, but we can ha get differences in some countries adult pro pornography is, is not forbidden uh, so uh, so i agree with you that there is some differences in culture but we can focus only on what is common to other cultures uh, protection of uh, uh, of children, uh, a crime, uh, identity theft, for example, is, uh, I think there's a, con we can find consensus on uh, some points, and we have to work on th on this consensus. Uh, and uh, uh, protection of children is a good example to, uh, to, to talk about the social behavior pillar, uh, because uh, children, uh, when he's uh, in front of his uh, PC, and he's uh, chatting uh, on internet. He has no the the, the required uh, uh, rules or uh, advices to uh, to face the threats that we, we can uh, uh, face uh, uh, in internet. So here we have to work on this point. I think. After, after you. Yes. Um. Thank you, uh, Mr. Massima from Gabon, permanent representative to IT in Geneva. But uh, uh, we'll come back on this uh, uh, alert system. Uh, so there's, uh, I think now it's uh, the urgent time for people in Africa to try to consider this uh, global effort in trying to build uh, these security networks uh, as a CERT or CICRT. And uh, you, you are speaking of uh, regional uh, uh, infrastructure and so on. How do you think you can organize this uh, regional approach, taking into consideration these uh, differences in the level of development of uh, the respective countries? Uh, because in Tunisia, for example, I know that okay, you have a lot of e-administration uh, processes. In some other countries, there is nothing at all, even for customs and so on, it's always paper administrations and so on. So this incident alert and responsiveness uh, is there to, to help and to protect uh, the interest of your, your administration, your country in the private sector there. So wh what's your plans in the future? Because I know South Africa is there, I know that Egypt is undertaking some reflection on that issues also. In terms of uh, regional cooperation needed to build up a network uh, because we are all the victims. If there is an invasion of, of, of uh, 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 virus in the systems, everyone will be affected. And we are going to lose a lot of money. And nobody, I think, the political will can be there. What are the two 
tools uh, were to convince our decision makers uh, to establish this kind of bodies and uh, under which tutorial uh, decision, prime minister, presidents of republic, because of course uh, in our countries, you know, army, defense and so on are very involved in this kind of security. Each time you are speaking of security, there is a link uh, with the police, army and so on. So what are your views on that? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I think that uh, to start, many, many, of, uh, many of countries think about uh, first uh, funding and uh, expertise uh, and uh, to, to set up uh, such a project. Mm -hmm. uh, from, my, uh, from the, informants, the, the information I have, uh, World Bank, uh, the African Bank, the BAD, uh, the Islamic uh, Bank for Islamic countries in Africa, uh, can uh, 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 can fund such projects. Now, uh, no project uh, m can be conducted without fin finance. So, uh, uh, the, uh, and the and the ICT for all last week that uh, has been uh, held in Tunisia, uh, the uh, the responsible of the BAD, the African ba Bank, uh, uh, told about a budget. I don't remember the, the real uh, number, but perhaps 10 million dollars uh, that uh, are uh, reserved to conduct uh, such projects. And ICT in general, but for security projects also. So uh, I think that uh, the bank, uh, the, the funding uh, structures, international banks, uh, prepared something to, to, uh, to fund such projects. After that, I think there's a lot of uh, of manner to conduct that. Uh, for ITU, for example, has uh, a roadmap, a general roadmap that uh, we can follow. Uh, we have to, uh, uh, to, con to, to, to to have a relationship to contact uh, one uh, existing third. Uh, the the best is to uh, to see uh, on the African uh, continent to get uh, uh, an existing cert uh, today Tunisia tomorrow Egypt or uh, South Africa and uh, I think uh, the hand in the hand uh, we can go uh, ahead and uh, 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 and uh, set up uh, such uh, operation structures. Uh, Microphone for you. Oh, okay. Sorry. My name is uh, Nouradin Abdurrahman, University of Science and Technology, Sudan. Uh, in fact, just I would like to ask a question regarding the conditions that should be met in our countries to start thinking about building CERT. Uh, because, uh, as you know, many African countries are lacking in e administrations, e governments, or e services in general, and even in ICT infrastructure. So what are the, the conditions that should be met first before we start to think about building CERTs? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think it's a very interesting uh, question because uh, in many uh, seminars and workshops that I, uh, in which I participate uh, around the world in this field, uh, experts in general talk about setting up a CERT, setting up uh, and they, uh, as a model, uh, they take uh, the advanced countries. Uh, I agree with you that if we have nothing to protect, we have not to set a protection uh, mechanism. So we must have something to protect. So we have to develop, uh, first of all, we have to develop infrastructure and over the infrastructure services. So, uh, and I know that for some, Unfortunately, for some African countries, there's no really e-services or infrastructure. So we have nothing to protect here. So we, ha we have to think, first of all, uh, about developing such services. But as I, I said in the, in the beginning of the talk, uh, we have the advantage to, to learn about their experiences. And when we start about building something in the uh, conception and the conception uh, or design phase, we can put security 
uh, aspects, we can put security mechanisms. So we can uh, go uh, in building a safe uh, services. So I think we have to, to, to take th this advantage from the, the beginning to start with thinking about security, but when developing e-services. I don't know if I answer that. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Joe Kapanda from Namibia. Um, I like your presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I would like to find out um, in your system that you have built up, uh, are you able to uh, to monitor and surveillance uh, other uh, network? Uh, is to uh, um, to to prevent uh, cyber crimes. Thank you. Excuse me. The question. Uh, uh, I mean, are you able to monitor other uh, other network in the country? Who is able? Uh, you know your 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 system that you have built up uh, to 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 ensure the protection of your network against. Mm. either viruses or any other. Do you have also the capacity to, to monitor other network, uh, like, you know, other um, uh, net, I mean, internet provider, so that you can ensure that uh, no uh, crime, cyber crime, is, is, is committed? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, you know, in this field, risk zero does not exist. So we have to start from this uh, constatation, uh, from this statement. Uh, after that, uh, we have to make our best to uh, prevent cybercrime. But I think uh, uh, even if we make our best, there will be al always some cases of uh, some cybercrimes. Uh, what you say, uh, yes, we have to coordinate with ISPs. ISPs are a privileged uh, partners. Uh, uh, they, they represent the, diff the gates of the, the, the national uh, internet and the, the gates from the national uh, uh, cyberspace to go to the international cyberspace. So uh, ISPs uh, maintain an imp uh, some important information like uh, internet addresses and in some cases, uh, cases when this address is uh, dynamic so, uh, they are the only uh, to, 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 to hold the, the real identity uh, or uh, the, the phone number it depends on the technology used so we have to, uh, to collab collaborate by ISPs uh, may collab collaborate but they need to get a legislative uh, framework okay uh, ISPs uh, can be private, and uh, if you ask them to give you the phone from which such uh, addre uh, address, IP address uh, has been uh, used at that uh, date and that time, so if there is no legislative framework, they may not collaborate. The, it is important. This is why this is one of the cases uh, where uh, legislative framework is important to to, to set uh, collaboration uh, procedures between the CERT and ISPs. Yes, thank you. I am Ashok Radakisum from Afrinik, and I was a former chairman of the ICT Authority of Mauritius. I just wanted to share uh, my own experience with my colleagues from Africa here. You see, I hear there is a lot of concern about security, which there must be indeed. But first of all, I think the biggest thing is, in each of our own countries, at, in each of our own policy-making unit, there must be one thing which is commitment to the use of ICT. Commitment to using it as a medium to do business, to uh, increase wealth, try to fight poverty, and also as a medium for use by people to better their lives, to better administration. But unless 
there is this commitment, meaning commitment there must be at the level of the policy maker, clear policy put into place. And as you rightly point out, policy making not only involves the decision of putting infrastructure, it involves also the whole armada of legislation which must go together with it. If we approach it in a piecemeal approach, we say infrastructure first, then we put in security five years later. In between, we decide on some legislation, but we forget others. I talk from experience. I know my own country, we have put in an electronic transaction act in the year 2000. But up to now, the PKI hasn't been put into place. So we have the law, there is some law policy, but I don't think there is the commitment required, because if we have the commitment, it's not a piecemeal approach. It is a very sort of a global thing we have got to put in. It is a system which must be put into place. Then we get the benefit out of it. Because what's the point of having an infrastructure which is open to threat all the time with all sorts of vulnerabilities? So I would urge my colleagues at the, regula uh, at the regulator level, if they give some deep thought to this, Try to advise government that we want to use the ICT because the only way that Africa has to beat the wrong the wrong side of the divide. If we don't have real plan policy, we stay always on the wrong side of the divide. But one of the ways of getting over it is to get these policies into place and really be committed. And one of the ways of manifesting that commitment is once you have the policy, maybe then get people expert like you through the African Union through our regional bodies, Kameza, Sadeko, on the le uh, uh, west of the Africa also, then we can have my colleague from Gabriel say, let's then try and nurture this regional approach. If we go piecemeal, maybe we lose time, and we have the objective, maybe we won't reach it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I fully agree with you. Uh, and uh, I think uh, in, in, in this uh, point, uh, ITU uh, is making uh, a big work, and uh, they are organizing uh, regional uh, seminars uh, for West African uh, countries. Uh, last year, I think in Praia, uh, Cap Verde, uh, also in uh, South in Africa and uh, Tanzania, and then in many other countries. Th they are ma making regional uh, uh, conferences. Uh, the Ivory Coast uh, last week. Uh, Last, I think uh, two, two weeks. Jeku Abraham is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, among us, and uh, this stage of uh, uh, thinking about uh, 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 putting a reg a regulation and uh, a strategy, a national strategy at, uh, at the level of c different countries, and um, I think that w w we have no choice. We, we have we, we are going to to that. Uh, now the question is uh, how faster uh, to reach this so we have we have no choice we are we will reach that uh, one day there's hello hi hello hello okay? yeah okay my name is Mwenden uh, Jiraine i come from of Kenya, which we, is don't, we don't hear you. Yeah. Louder. Okay. Uh, my name is Mwende. I come from Communications Commission of Kenya, which is the regulator in Kenya. And I have two questions. The first one is the role of government and different, uh, you know, um, different organizations within the government. Specifically, I'm talking about uh, legislators who form who are involved in lawmaking. Then secondly, law enforcement officers who will be used in the prosecution of cases that arise from um, cyber security incidences, then uh, as well as the judicial system. And I was wondering how we are in Africa can help this group of people, basically the government institutions, to be able to be aware of uh, uh, issues of cyber security. I know we've talked about the regulators, but that's one step. What about those who actually make the law? And then the sec second question is how then once you have the law, 
how do you balance uh, issues of privacy? Because you've mentioned, uh, like in Tunisia, when the incident is reported, uh, for example, when there's uh, um, an attack, but that means the ISPs provide the information, for example, to the SAT. So how do you ba balance issues of privacy? Is it em embedded in the law? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, mm. very important question. Uh, in the, in, uh, the law that, uh, in the Tunisian law that uh, has been used to create the agency, Tunisian Agency for Computer Security, there is a, uh, a very important po point concerning uh, confidentiality. Okay, so we have, when we are, when uh, any user or any company or any uh, partner uh, provide us an information on a related incident, we have to, uh, we have to, to, to use this information and in uh, totally confidential. So, uh, so this is uh, specified in the law. So, confident. Uh, so, I think there's no problem with uh, pri uh, privacy, uh, as it is used in other fields. Uh, we have to get the information only to use it uh, for uh, what uh, we uh, plan to use it. Uh, concerning the, 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 the other question, uh, I think we have to make a clear distinction uh, between uh, uh, the, the police, the law, the lowers, uh, law structures, and uh, the, the operation structure like certs. The cert acts as a lab, as a lab, so uh, his goal is only technical. We have to uh, find or uh, to make the invest investigation only at the technical level. We do not the work of the police. The police do its work as it has the, uh, the habit to, to do it, okay? Uh, and the laws, uh, they have uh, their, their role. So I think there is uh, three separate roles. Uh, operation search acts at the technical level and uh, the two other actors acts as they have the users to, to do. Under which ministry does your unit fall? Is it under Minister of Communications, mm -hmm. are you under internal affairs? We are Shall under I the minister, the Ministry of uh, Communication Technologies. This is why, why uh, we are a technical structure. <laughs> but I imagine you work very closely with the law enforcement authorities, like... Um, we are in the same country, though, so we have to collaborate with all, all other structures in the government. I would like to react to the colleague from Kenya because I'm a lawyer by f training and I've had uh, experience with drafting the ICT legislation of my country. So the question you are raising is a very pertinent one. Now, th there are three things. There's the policymaker, you have got the regulator, and then you have got the law enforcing agencies. Once the policy is clear, your government, the ministry wants to do something with ICT. You want to develop something, use it. Of course, there will be an ICT legislation, whatever name you give to it. This legislation is going to map out what is the national regulatory body which is going to put the policy into practice. ICT authority at your place is CCK, whatever it is. But then in the same legislation, the power of the regulator will be clearly define MAPRAD, what it can do, and then it would also uh, say what sort of behavior would be described as offenses. And those offenses, what sort of penalty they are going to carry. Of course, then the police or whatever law enforcing agency would know when such behavior appear, or in this British system, you go to the police, you give a, give a statement, then the police looks at what you have given, 
goes to the law, this is the breach of the law, this is our force. But at the same time, the ICT legislation or whatever you call it, is going to contain certain provision regarding to fundamental rights. Let us say telephone tapping. In the case of the prosecution of a criminal offense, the police may need to investigate something of national importance to go and maybe tap telephone, but it cannot just decide by itself. There are always these checks and balances wherever you have got the Constitution. For example, in Mauritius, you need to go to a judge in chambers of the Supreme Court. The police has got to convince that judge that there is necessity, comme on dit, péril en la demeure, there is the need really to tap the telephone of somebody to get evidence. There's no other way of doing it. Or there are other things sort of to have access to certain bank accounts in the case of money laundering as a result of cyber crime. This also, it is mapped out in the law. You need to go to the judge in chambers, convince him. So there are those checks and balances regarding to data protection, regarding uh, privacy. But as I said, it stems from a clearly uh, defined policy which maps itself into a legislation. The legislation gives powers to regulators, the police, 